After several days of investigations and searching all over the country, police say the case of the Cerigliano family has finally come to a resolution. 13 on your side's Keeley Lovern spoke to the city's police chief today and continues our coverage. Keeley, what have we learned? Well, for Police Chief Tim Rodwell, his focus was on the community's help to find the missing family and that the case is now closed, saying it's in the hands of the Cerigliano's loved ones. After reported being missing nearly a week before, Fremont Police Department said detectives were able to make contact with all four members of the Cerigliano family in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, at around 11 a.m. yesterday on Sunday. The family still does believe someone is after them, Fremont authorities told us, but the elements of the investigation they say, quote, do not meet the criteria for protective custody. The family member that did require full-time care who was found left behind at their home is now being cared for by other family members, and the police say they do not believe that the Soreglianos meant any harm. Once we were able to do our full investigation, I think we learned that this was um, uh, uh, maybe a communication problem and not an intent that they or they didn't care. Luckily, um, you know, Tony uh, Serigliano was able to to explain what procedures he had taken to make sure that she was safe. And I think it's just a, a big misunderstanding. I do not foresee any criminal charges because nothing in the investigation would lend us to request charges with the prosecutor's office. Rodwell says the case is now closed as far as their jurisdiction is concerned, but they do believe other family members are in contact with the Soriglianos and they're working to get them the help they need and back home safely. I also spoke to the chief about the concerning 911 call that was made before the family disappeared. Coming up at 6, he breaks down why he feels there was no credible threat that was happening to that family, Kirk.